asked you what three digit are in the units period of the number 4,083,817. Now remember we talked the last couple weeks, a period is each group of hundreds, tens, and ones. So Harper, what is the units period? 817. It makes up the hun just the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. That's the units. You go on over, you have the thousands period, then the millions period, and the billions period, and so on. But the units period, the three digits in this number are 817. What did you find the product of 34 times 5, Christopher? What did you do to solve? I added 34 times 5. Okay. So you did 34 plus 34 plus 34 plus 34 plus 34. So 4 plus 4 is 8. Then another 4 plus 4 is another 8. That gets you 16 plus 4 is what? 20. 20. So I'm going to write down my 0. What do I do with the 2? You call 20. 20. Plus 20. Yeah, I'm going to take it over to the tens place. So 2 and 3 make 5. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 3 is 6 again. 6 plus 6 is 12, so I need to add 12 plus 5, and that equals 17. So my answer is 170. Did anybody use a different strategy besides repeated addition? What did you do, Olivia? I did 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, What'd you do, Owen? I got, I added, I, I, um, did 5, 34, 5, 8. Okay. So you count them by 5. Think back to a strategy that some of you used last week when you broke apart the numbers. Olivia, I think this is the strategy you used last week. Could we do 30 times 5? Yeah. Okay. 3 times 5 is 15. And then we need to add this zero at the end, so that's 150. Then we need to do 4 times 5. That gets 20. And if we add that together, that's 170. So there's another strategy that you could use. All right, next we've got 34 divided by 3. Amy, how did you do 34 divided by 3? Okay. Okay, so you did 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33. So you said since we had 34... That that was going to be a remainder or R1. So how did you know what went before the R1? So you counted to see how many threes you had? So like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, so the answer is 11 with a remainder of 1. Okay. Eight hundred eighty-nine thousand twenty-eight is greater than, less than, or equal to eight hundred ninety-nine thousand twenty-eight. Braley, it's less than. it is less than. How do you know that's less than? Because that last number is that last number is only three above. Okay, so. If I look at my greatest place value, I have 800,000, 
and 800,000. Those are the same. So I need to go to the next place value. I have 80,000 and 90,000. And we know 90,000 is more. All right. 1,939,002 is greater than, less than, or equal to 1,393,005, Olivia. Less than. Less than? How do you, why do you think it's less than? Greater than. Greater than, okay. Why do you think it's greater than? Mm -hmm. there's, there's um there's nine hundred three well nine hundred thirty nine and on the other one it's three hundred and ninety well three hundred and ninety three. Yeah. And much bigger. Very good. Nine hundred thirty nine thousand is more than three hundred and ninety three thousand. Good job. Write the number twelve ten thousands, eight thousands. Fourteen hundreds, seven ones in standard form. I'm going to draw a quick place value chart here. Hundred thousands, ten thousands, thousands, hundreds, tens, ones. All right. So I've got twelve ten thousands. So in my ten thousands place value, I'm going to put down a twelve. Then I have eight thousands, so my thousands place value, I'm putting an eight. I have fourteen hundreds, seven ones. Do I have any tens? No. No. I'm just going to go ahead and put a zero there. So can I write that number down as one, two, eight, one, four, zero, seven? Yes. Why not, Harper? Okay, so let's think about why that might have been wrong. What doesn't look right about what I have in my place value chart? Kaden? 14. 14. Can I have, what do I need to do with 14 hundreds to be able to write that number in standard form? What am I going to do? What do I do, Kaden? 10 plus 4 gets you 14, so what am I going to do with the 10? Yeah, I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to move it over. So now how many thousands do I have? Nine. Nine thousands. How many hundreds do I have? Four. Four. I still have four hundreds. Okay. What else looks different about that? Christopher, what else do I have to do? Mm -hmm. You need to add a comma. Okay, I'm going to have to add a comma. What else? There's a 12. Okay, so what are we going to do with that 12? What are we going to do, Jaden? Yeah, I'm going to keep that two in my ten thousands, but that one is going to be moved over to my hundred thousands. Yep. So I have one hundred thousand. Jaden said I keep the two ten thousands. Okay, I was confused because I, I saw like a whole bunch of other numbers. Okay, then so we've. That what about the tens? How many tens do we have? Uh huh. How many tens are there, Olivia? Zero. How many ones? Seven. Seven. Where does my comma go? Christopher, you told me I needed a comma. It goes um, after the 128. It goes between the 129,000 and the 407. Yeah. So my correct answer is 129,407. All right, now we're ready to round 39,477 to the nearest thousand. How do I do that, Jacob? Okay, so keep it to 9,000 and 30,000 as they are, because 4,000 isn't high enough to, like, to change 9,000, because it's not up to 5 or 
Very good. The 400 it doesn't get to the midpoint, so we keep 39,000 the same. And then what do I do with my hundreds, tens, and ones? What do they become? They turn to zeros. Can't forget that. There's a big difference in 39,000 and 9,000. All right. Let's find the sum. Yes, sir. No. 8,381 plus 1,830. How did you solve that one, Braley? Okay. Uh huh. Katie, please stop. Okay. Very good. So the correct answer is 10,211. All right, two more questions. Find the difference. So that tells me I need to find the answer to the subtraction problem. 820 minus 291. Dylan, how did you do that one? Okay, well, tell me what we need to do. You need it minus 291 from 820. Okay, so what do we do first? You minus it from the 100. Where do we start? What place value do we need to start with? The ones. The ones. So if I have zero, can I take one away from that? Nope, no. So what do I do? You get, you get some from the ten. All right. So that's going to make that two into a one. And I'm going to add ten to the zero I have. So ten minus one is nine. Okay, now what? Okay. Alright, so that 8 becomes a 7. And I add 10 to the 1 that I already have, so that makes 11. 11 minus 9 is 2. two. And then 7 minus 2 is 5. So my answer is 529. Alright. The school store sold 83,299 pencils the first week of school and 92,185 pencils the second week of school. How many pencils did they sell all together? Amy, how do I do that one? Okay, so we need to add the number of pencils from the first week and the number of pencils from the second week. Okay, so how did you add them? What did you do? Okay, so you lined up, you added your place values together? No, I, okay, so I added 299 plus 185. Okay. 299 plus 185, and what was that? It was... What's, what is 299 really close to? What's it really, really close to? really close to 300. Yeah, so if I take one of these and add it over here, that leaves me 184 here. So 484. That's my 
hundreds, tens, and ones are my units, period. All right, 83 plus 92. How did you add those two? I added two plus three equals five. Okay. All right, so 175,000 plus 484 gets me 175,484 pencils.